It's two in the afternoon. We got a call from Charlie. He asked us to meet in this restaurant. This morning, we took care of the job from Alexa. But as cunning a fucktard as Charlie is, he got some other plans. We don't know what we are into right now. Daniel has enough issues with this guy. Never trusted him. But one last job. One last thing to take care of before I get a better life. traffic there yeah well I was told by one of my associates that you arrived at George's house and you saw him leaving in a hurry is that correct yes okay and then you got in your car and proceeded to follow him correct yes okay so he left his house in Annapolis and headed up towards Baltimore yeah he took 97 okay so he took 97 then went through the tunnel and then went south yes and you didn't catch him there no. Okay, so then he went back on 95 and then made a few circles around Baltimore and then went towards BWI? Yes. And you still didn't get him there? No. George, that bastard. Well, I, you know, I don't see how anyone else could have done it any better than you guys did. I do appreciate your help. Look, I'm sorry, I should let you go now. I'm joining my sister for lunch. You know, I would have asked you to join me for lunch, but I assumed that you guys had already eaten some lunch on your way back since it took you three hours to get from DC to BWI. The, the, the car broke down. So, you understand what I'm saying, right? Right. You just tell her all the stuff happened, everything bit by bit, until we find the person she sent us to nail. Yeah, tell her he had the bag with the jewelry and everything. Tell her, Alex, whatever her name is, how he tried to avoid us, how we chased him. We were on top of it, very professional and all that stuff. She will buy it. She's only here for a week and she doesn't understand shit. Just make sure you get the story straight. And by the way, her name is Alexa. Do not get it wrong. There is an Alex. Alex is someone you do not want to cross. Alex will shoot you as soon as you look at her. But Alexa, she's fine. She's a cream pie. We can handle her. After we get out of that place, can we work on our shares? Just don't screw it up. We don't want Alex coming down on us. If everything goes well, we should be in and out in 10 minutes. Any questions? Yes. What? Do they do drink refills in here? What do you think this is, freaking McDonald's? Are you telling me you haven't had lunch yet? Oh, that's unacceptable. I don't want my people to work on an empty stomach. I'm gonna order some lunch for you guys right away. Hi, it's me. So I have a few friends here in my office, and they've had a very tiresome but interesting adventure this morning. And I'm so saddened to know that they actually didn't have lunch and they are running on an empty stomach. Well, I don't know what happened. They said their car broke down. <laughs> you and your details. What do you think this is? What happened? What? The car. Flat tire. <laughs> yeah, a flat tire. So send us enough food for six. Any vegetarians? No. Good, yeah. All right, follow me to the kitchen. So, I'll make some drinks for us before the food comes, but first I have to take care of something, okay? Be right back. 
What the hell is going on here? You said 10 minutes, and now we sit here and having drinks in the kitchen? Will you shut your mouth? I already covered your ass about the three hours. Just hold on a second. That's true. Good job, man. Have you all met my sister yet? I'm sure you'll like her. But she's not at all like me. She is the smart one. I know. Why don't we play a little game while we wait for her? What game? It's really simple. My sister and I, we used to play it all the time when we were little. It's really easy. The object of the game is I'm going to ask you a question and you can't answer out loud. The person who speaks first loses, okay? Okay. First question. Did you do your nails today? Okay. Did you shave your beard today? Let's make it a little bit interesting now. Turn over your napkin and answer the question on the back. Which tire fell flat today? All eyes on me, one, two, three. Hmm. Interesting. I always wanted to be in my sister's shoes. This was fun. Thanks, guys. Now listen, honey, I got Chris waiting for me out in the car, and I'm not about to fuck this up now that I finally got something going with him. Now somebody better start talking. I'm not Ashley. I'm not here to listen to your bullshit sob stories. So when I count to five, somebody better start talking about where the fucking bag is now. One, two, three, four, 